All right, guys, so welcome back to another one here on the channel. Um, I did this when I had my first car a couple of years ago. Five hidden tricks on the Fiesta. At the time, it was on the Clio. It's my most viewed video to, to this day, and I still get comments saying how it helped people out or it helps find things that you didn't know were on your car. So I am going to do it today on the Fiesta. Obviously, this is an ST, but it should work across the whole, whole range from like the trend all the way up to the ST. You might know all five things. You might learn a thing or two. You might even have things that I don't know. So if you do, drop it in the comments, leave a like and subscribe, and let's crack on with five hidden tricks in the Mark 8 Fiesta. Number one, the Ford pass app um you may have got your car with no paperwork no service history anything like that or like my car may maybe half and half half of it is, is on paperwork and the other half of it is on the ford pass app so once it loads up basically if you haven't put your car into it you uh, you put in your vin you link it to the sync free and then you can get all your service information so if we come onto the app now you've got so, so we've got my car there you got the services so I, I, I've got half my service history in paperwork and the other half on the app. So you go into service history, then I think it's on this car. Yeah, so look, I've got two services on this on this app. You can also book a service on the app. And if you have an automatic car, you, you, you can actually turn on your car from the app, whether it be a Fiesta, Focus, Cougar, whatever. Automatics, I believe you can turn them on from the app. So if you're like having bre breakfast and it's cold outside, you can sit inside, turn it on, put on your heated seats. It's actually quite a cool, a cool app and you can track the car as well. I must admit, it, I haven't made it work yet. Maybe I haven't set it up properly or maybe I'm just wrong. But yeah, the Ford Pass app is very good. And if you're thinking you don't have the right paperwork or your car seems to be a bit up in the air, check the app because there's a chance a lot of it is on the app. Number two is, again, this might be quite an obvious one if you know it, but if you don't, it is quite handy, is the cup holders. So you have the two big ones here, and then there's a gap here. Obviously, I can't make it fit now, but if you have like a um, a, a Red Bull can, like one of the small, small, smaller ones or ones like that, it actually fits in there. I wish I had one to show, but if it fits in there. Again, it's quite an obvious one, but if you don't know, you might not know, if that makes sense. Number three is actually in the settings. So if I turn the car on, in the settings of the car, you have got, when we get there, let me turn off that. Bloody hell, it'll take a while. So if you go, if you scroll over to settings, and then my key, you can actually set up a uh, my key. I'm not going to do it now because this is my main key. If, if I had my spare key, let me turn it off actually. If I had my spare key, which I don't have on me now, but you can basically set it up to be like um, a dud key kind of thing. So you can put like a speed uh, limiter on it. You can put like, only like basically you can set it up to be like a very restricted key so if you're a parent and your kids driving it you can do it so it doesn't go over 70 if you're giving the car to a friend you can set it so like the car doesn't get abused it is actually quite a handy thing i set it up one day when i didn't know what, what it did so i was dri dri driving home on the dual carriageway and i was stuck at 50 the whole way back which isn't sm isn't smart isn't safe make sure you set it up with the key that's on you because if it's your main main key that you've got on you it will set it up as the main key so to reverse it you have to go grab the spare key if you have one if you don't have one i, I, I don't know what you're meant to, to do number four is this is on every single well, 99 percent of cars there's an arrow to tell you what side the uh, fuel caps on it comes on when the fuel light comes on on the fiestas it's on the left of the yeah, on the Fiesta's, it's on the left side of the car. When the fuel light comes on, there's an arrow and it just tells you which side. This is one of them things. Once you know it, you're shocked that nobody else know, knows it. But until you're specifically told it, I, we've all been there. When you find out, you're like, oh, I never knew that. So yeah, if you did, didn't know, now you know. Number five is a good uh, safety feature that I don't think is automatically turned on. Again, you probably know it, but if you don't, here it is, it is the lane assist. So on the end here, there's a little like knob toggle thing. If you click it in, it actually turns on um, lane assist. So if you're on like the motorway and you sway out of your lanes, you can set it up so it either alerts you 
it aids you so it pulls the, the steering wheel back or both so i have it on aid i never really have it on to be honest I'm, I'm never really veering out of my lanes but if you're on like a long drive you can set the cruise control you can set the lane assist these cars do actually come with a very good spec from factory i think even the trends come with uh lane assist I, I think and yeah that was five uh hidden tricks hidden tricks they're tricks once you see them they're quite obvious but if you didn't know now you know hopefully you enjoyed if you did leave a like and subscribe comment your thoughts any suggestions and hopefully i'll see you again cheers